As you can see in today's intro, the transformer effect allows you to do so many cinematic camera movements, text slide effects, and add in some dope motion blur to all of your animations. Now, before when I wasn't using this tool, all of my animations looked super chalked and they just didn't look good. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a deep dive on the transform tool so that way you can go ahead and enhance your short form content. So without other words, go ahead and jump straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so first things first is I actually have my footage. We're gonna go ahead and do a camera movement. But first, real quick, before we go ahead and do so, I'm gonna go over to my effects tab and i'm gonna drag and drop a lut out of my viral effects pack which i just updated it's pretty freaking saucy if i must say so myself uh, but anyways enough uh glazing my own pack i'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop the everyday creator lut on there and then it honestly looks really good so i'm just gonna call that a day the first step to actually making a camera movement is we want to go to effects right here and we want to type in transform now it's going to pop up in the transform section just like so just drag and drop it onto your footage or if you have multiple layers where you want to apply the camera effects to all layers like text icons whatever it is then you want to actually apply it to an adjustment layer so for tutorial sake I'm actually going to go ahead and create a adjustment layer. So I'm going to right click right here, go to new item and then adjustment layer. That's going to bring up an adjustment layer. Just drag and drop it above all of the layers that you want the zoom to affect. So if there's a text right here, let's just go ahead and type in text. Just like so, just for a tutorial's sake, you know, it's going to look a little chopped, but all good just for a tutorial's sake, baby. Uh, I actually need that on a t-shirt, bro, just for a tutorial's sake. Anyways, moving on, once you guys have the transform effect applied to the adjustment layer, just like so, we're going to go ahead and go through all of these options just so that way you guys know what this is doing. So the transform tool, if you think about it, is kind of just like moving the scene. So this is up or down, this is left or right, and then this is in and out. So kind of think zoom in, zoom out. This is kind of skewing your footage. Now, I would never ever really use this, not gonna lie. Same thing with skew axis, it just kind of just moves the skew in a weird way. Um, this is rotation, of course, very self-explanatory. Opacity, you could turn the opacity down in the transform tool. And then right here is using a composition's shutter. Now, I would not do this because if you do this, you will have no motion blur and we want motion blur in our camera movements and our text effects. Now, that's kind of the secret sauce and it's exactly why the transform tool is way better than this motion sort of set of presets right here. Because you can add motion blur and it's because you can make it look like the animation is straight out of After Effects. Now, I had no clue this tool existed, so I was stuck making chopped animations in Premiere Pro. Anyways, so now that we know what everything does, let's go ahead and just uncheck this and then turn the shutter angle to 360. Now, you can do 180. I just like to have the camera motion blur just there, like super apparent. So that's why I do 360. But if you want a subtler look, go ahead and do 180. Now, let's go ahead and start moving on with our camera movement so what we want to go ahead and do is create keyframes so i'm going to go ahead and start by creating one right here toggle animation and we're going to do a zoom in and the way that you do that is you start from 100 and then you want to increase the value to zoom in just like so and then it'll place wherever your playhead is at a keyframe now this is going to zoom in just like that and you guys might be like cool it's got motion blur i'm done no you are wrong so if you want a smooth smooth camera movement you guys want to select both of the keyframes right here right click bezier just like so and then we're going to go over here and hit this little icon now this is the secret sauce this is how you get the after effects sort of flow animation effect to where everything looks really really clean really smooth so first things first is because it's like kind of like an in point i kind of like to make these uh, a little bit more ramped in the beginning and then kind of ease in uh, so I'm going to just play that keyframe like that. And I'm just going to move this one up like so. So that way the velocity is going crazy. You guys can tell that it's going to look like just kind of like a very quick zoom. And that's what we want. I'm going to go ahead and play it through and see what it looks like. That looks really clean. And then there you guys go. You guys have a crash zoom effect. Now what's really cool. You guys could use this sort of formula to do a zoom out as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys that. So I'm just going to flip these keyframes right here. And then we're just going to adjust these marks just like so we're just gonna bring that back and then there you guys go it'll zoom out like that looks really good now what's even cooler is if you guys get the viral effects pack then you guys are gonna have a whole list of camera movements like literally a lot of camera movements inside done for you keyframes so that way making camera movements is just a drag and drop process onto adjustment layers or your footage so i can drop the preset just like so and you guys are gonna see it'll zoom in and then it's gonna go ahead and zoom out for us now if the timing isn't right for your video you guys can go ahead just go to these keyframes and move them left just like so so that way the second zoom out is way faster there you go you can adjust the positioning of timing whatever it is 
you can do it yourself because the keyframes are already made for you. Okay, so now that we got camera movement out of the way using a transform tool, I'm gonna show you guys how to use a transform tool to actually affect text and create those cinematic text slides. Okay, so first things first, you guys of course wanna go ahead and create a text layer. Real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and slap on a LUT real quick to make sure that this looks good. I'm just gonna do, let's go ahead and do movie night. Movie night looks clean, super warm, cozy vibe. Um, which by the way, if you wanna go cop it, viral effects pack, link in the description below or in the top right corner right here. So we're gonna go over here, click this type tool, and then we're just gonna go ahead and type in text just like so. I'm gonna select all of it and then we're gonna go to the properties tab. I'm gonna change it to my favorite font, Akira, just like that, bang. And then we're gonna just go ahead and drag this over, make it fit. And then let's go ahead and center it just like so. For me, that looks good. And now we're ready to go ahead and add the cinematic slide effect. Now you guys can go ahead, go to the transform tool again. Now for me, I have it in the viral effects pack. So it has the motion blur enabled already. So I don't have to go ahead and check it off um, every single time. Just a little bit of a time saver, pretty dope. Now it's gonna be following the same exact sort of principles as before. We're gonna be affecting the position just like so, and we're gonna be affecting the opacity. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a keyframe layer for both of those. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go to the beginning. Now I'm gonna start the keyframe opacity at 30, just like so. And then I'm gonna move over maybe about like six frames and I'm gonna go to 100. So that way it kind of like opacity is in like that, kind of fades in super subtle. You guys can make this all a zero or simply just like that. To me, that looks actually really clean. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Now for the text, I actually want it to slide um, from the bottom up. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go ahead and move this first keyframe that's censored over just like this. I'm gonna move the first keyframe down just like that. And as you can see, as we're sliding it, it's creating some motion blur, which is always a good sign. That creamy motion blur, so goaded. I'm sus for saying that, but it's all good. Same thing, right click Bezier, and then we can go ahead and play with the sort of velocity. Now, this is gonna be a little bit strange, but you're gonna bear with me. Let's actually go ahead and zoom in. That's a little tip right there. Just kind of zoom this in or move this in just like so. And kind of same thing. I kind of just want it to be a quick like button up like that. That's way too slow. And to me, that looks mad corny. So we're not going to do that. Go ahead and just keep playing with it until we get like a good result. Maybe we were doing it the wrong way. So let's try this. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. OK, cool. We'll go ahead and zoom this out a little bit and maybe I'll even do something like so. I should just bring this to the beginning like that. Bang. Boom. OK, cool. So that looks really, really good. That's how you get that cinematic slide effect. Now, if you don't like how this is looking, you could play with maybe bringing it up a little bit more so it doesn't have to travel as far. That makes it a lot more cleaner. Um, you guys could even go even a little closer like so, just like that. It'll kind of do a more, you know, subtle slide where you can move the end keyframe just like that move it closer and to me that actually looks really clean now again your boy thinks of everything i'm literally mega mind when it comes to premiere pro just kidding again go to the presets go to the viral effects pack goaded pack by the way whoever made this is actually crazy bro but uh yeah so same exact thing find the preset and the slide effects and then we do a uh, slide in up just like so and there you guys go you guys have a cinematic text slide now real quick just for tutorial sake i'm going to show you guys kind of what the combination of a text slide with a camera movement actually can do uh, it looks pretty saucy so we're just going to do a let's do a crash zoom in or a camera pull hook just like that and there you guys go that looks really good you guys could even go crazy and add a camera focus hunt which is kind of like a stylized effect kind of makes it look like the camera's kind of like wigging out a little bit like messing up focus so there we go let's check that out you'll see that it kind of like does like that little blur to me that looks pretty cool and it feels like a more lived in sort of piece of footage but anyways guys i know i was plugging the viral effects pack so much and that's genuinely because i believe that this is the best premiere pro editing pack on the market right now hands down like me making this pack is actually removing a lot of products in my shop and that's the key i want to give you guys the one and done pack so you don't have to go anywhere else to get the best effects but anyways guys if this tutorial was helpful please leave a like comment subscribe down below remember guys take action and take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace out